The following scenes are not intended to encourage reenactment and are for entertainment purposes only. Immortality. What would you do if you were immortal? <laughs> what a silly question, that's impossible. Actually, it is possible and there are multiple ways to achieve it. Get out of my office, you stupid. This is the jellyfish Turritopsis Dorni, also known as the immortal jellyfish. And this jellyfish is one of the few animals on earth capable of reverting its cells, making it effectively immortal. Wow. Don't ask me about the exact biological process, something about transdifferentiation or so. What would you do if you were this jellyfish? Well, probably not much. I think it would be quite boring to be a jellyfish. But there is another path to immortality and in fact you are already immortal. Who says so? None other than Daddy Albert and that means this is science. Not only you are immortal, but we all are and everyone who has ever lived still exists. You, me, people we wish didn't exist. No, no, my Fira. I'm I'm from Arizona. How can you be immortal according to Einstein and how is it that Dobby the Elf still lives even without any magic? You will find out today. To understand Einstein's theory of relativity and explain why your deceased grandmother still lives, rest in peace, we first need to grasp the concept of relativity. The word relative means that something is considered in comparison to something else. For instance, imagine you finally gather the courage to ask your high school crush out on a date. The waiter brings a large plate of spaghetti that you have to share because you spent most of your allowance on V-Bucks this month. He places it on the edge of the table. From your perspective, the plate is on the left. However, from your crush's perspective, it's on the right. Thus, the plate's position is relative to the observer. <coughs> However, both of you can agree that the chef was very generous with the portion. This is an absolute measure, independent of the observer. Similarly, it's absolutely certain that she won't go out with you again, because you haven't followed our YouTube channel yet, and because you tried to explain relativity to her using the example of her dead grandmother. So back to immortality and the question, what is the now for us humans? When you look up in the sky and see paper man flying by, he is there and there's absolutely no reason to doubt this fact. He's directly in front of you, why wouldn't he be there? You are certain that paper man is there because you can see the light particles from him. However, the problem is, and now pay close attention because this is the simplest yet most crucial fact for all the mind facts that are about to come. Light has a fixed speed and takes a fraction of a millionth of a second to reach you even over short distances. This means that everything you see is the light from that object from a very short time ago. What you consider as now might be an illusion. You might shout, look, there's paper man, when in reality paper man has already crashed into the skyscraper. Although this time difference is so minimal that it takes no difference on earth, believe me, this fact alone causes a lot of shit. So pay close attention because now it's time to cook. Now it's time to throw relativity into a pot with the concept of now and sprinkle a bit of motion on top. Mmm, tastes like I'm losing the meaning of my life. <laughs> Imagine you are looking at a moving train because you like trains. Unbelievable that this was the funniest thing on the internet in 2010. In the middle of the train sits Manu. That's Manu. Manu is looking at you through the window because Manu likes ugly faces or something, who knows. And now the most important part. At both the front and the back of the train, a light flashes in the same time. Manu is now perfectly aligned with you and the question is, do both lights flash simultaneously? You would say yes, because both lights are exactly the same distance from you and the light from both reaches you at the same moment. But Manu says no, because Manu is done. Motion, he is in motion. He is moving towards the front light, meaning the light from this lamp is coming towards him. Similarly, he is moving away from the back light, so the light from this lamp takes a tiny bit longer to reach him. Therefore, for Manu, the lights do not flash simultaneously. And believe me, this fact really sucks because it shows not only that the here and now is dependent on the observer making it relative, but also that time passes differently for us, commonly known as time dilation. I'll save this topic for another video, but what I want to mention, it is 
Reality that you age slower than people on Earth if you are flying around in space in a spaceship. What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? Let's take it a step further. Manu is in space, far away from Earth. He is happy because he is witnessing your birth. Or rather, the light from your birth. And look over there, a supernova. Manu is in the perfect spot in the universe where the light from the supernova meets the light from your birth, making it appear to Manu that your birth happens simultaneously with a supernova. Congratulations! Let's move forward a few years to another location in the universe. The light from the supernova has still not reached Earth, but is now reaching Axel. That's Axel, by the way. Axel is seeing the supernova and he's witnessing your death. For you, life is over. You died peacefully and not at all stupid. For Axel, you died during a supernova. Congratulations! This example is theoretically possible and shows not only that your death and your birth coincided with a supernova but also that your death already existed at your birth because it is possible to see your death and your birth simultaneously during the same supernova. Einstein's theory does not allow us to pin existence to a specific moment and if you understand this, you realize that everything in the universe must exist now. Everything. The future, the present and the past all exist simultaneously in a space that Einstein called the block universe. Light. Speed. The block universe. You like trains and don't end up with your crush. Why did I tell you all this? Because immortality is, in some respects, a reality. Granted, looking at the light of a deceased person in space is of little use to you. But somehow it's pretty cool to think that it will theoretically always be possible to observe deceased people during their lifetimes. Maybe somewhere far away in the universe, a Will Smith from another planet is watching you chill on your rooftop like a rebel or 10 years ago. And even when you're dead. The light from all the great, lovable and intelligent things you've ever done. What's that, brother? Continues to travel through space, passing by everything out there and whoever might be watching. Some of you might now say, me, 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 the light isn't me, 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 then I'm not immortal, me, me, me. Rightfully so. Valid argument. But physics has an answer for that too. We are all made up of tiny particles, atoms. Atoms are like Lego bricks. Small, a part of something big, and very important, indestructible. Ever tried to destroy an atom? Didn't work, did it? That's just how it is. Atoms are simply bad as mother Fs. Sorry. So when you die, your atoms don't die with you. Instead, they continue to float around the universe, drifting, rearranging themselves and becoming part of something new. Which also means, by the way, that the atoms of everyone who will ever live already exist. In conclusion, there is only one thing left to say. I hope my atoms will someday be the person who finally gets to play GTA 6. And I hope that you will be in an awesome person too. Amen. I'll skip the pedophile jokes at this point. Oh, and because some of you requested it in the comments, much of the information for this video comes from Sabine Horsenfelder and her book Existential Physics, A Scientist's Guide to Life's Biggest Questions, link below the video, as well as from various articles and videos we used as a source. Thank you for all the kind and constructive comments. Molecule by molecule. Atom by atom. Skip it up and that up.